A lot has changed since our last energy-based video with new inventions and ideas that have altered the way we think about energy. Today on Future 5, we talk about the many different methods to provide us with a charge scientists around the world have come up with. Number 1. Goodyear Tires Aside from being a well-known brand, Goodyear Tires also try to stay ahead in innovation to be the most advanced in their class. They have tried to do so again with a new concept video they just put out. This new concept of tire is intended to generate electricity from heat. It's able to convert the heat from the road when you drive as well as the heat from the sun when it's sitting still. With electric cars clearly becoming the near future in some countries, this is only going to make it easier for the transition. Number 2. Vibration Generator Many people enjoy the convenience of motion charging watches. These have become a fascination and take out the annoying need to replace your battery, which sometimes requires you to visit the jeweler. Recently, something new has come into play, and they are less than half the size of your typical AA. They are small generators that can use the vibrations of an average person's body to generate enough electricity to run a watch, pacemaker and other small wearable devices. This is only in the first steps of its development and could very well improve rapidly to the point where it could power or prolong a smartphone. Number 3. Carbon to fuel. Carbon dioxide is why the sun is constantly boiling our editor in Florida. It's a problem for our environment in large amounts and we only produce more and more with everything we make. Researchers from UCLA have possibly come up with a solution to some of the issue. A strain of bacteria named Ralstonia eutropha have been discovered and subsequently engineered to be able to eat carbon and convert it into fuel or isobutanol. What's even better about this discovery is that the entire process uses sunlight in order to work. This could really help in space travel and here on Earth, so updates on this will likely be covered in future episodes. Number 4. Rain Panels Solar panels are undeniably of importance to our future, but what about when it's raining? Some areas of the world get a large amount of rain and very little sun. This has been solved by Chinese scientists which have developed a way to produce energy from the very raindrops that hit the solar cells. The underside of the solar cell is coated with graphene which interacts positively with the charged ions in the rain. A one atom thick layer of graphene could solve all our solar panel problems. Number 5 Spherical Power Generators Another solar panel technology that only improves on what we have. Solar panels can be an issue when the sun does that moving that it tends to do. Well, more specifically, our planet does that moving that it tends to do in relation to the sun. Well, some solar farms simply use electricity to point their panels toward the sun for maximum energy. This is effective, but another more affordable way has come into play. Using a sphere of glass, similar to a magnifying lens, you are able to direct the sun with much more efficiency right to the solar panel. This takes out the need for expensive engines and greatly increases the yield of energy you get from your panels. The current prototypes are quite large, but a similar method could be produced with much smaller spheres. And that concludes this episode of Future 5 on energy and there are still many more findings and experiments in this field. Some more usable than others, but another energy episode is bound to show up in the future. That is, if you enjoyed it. Let us know in the comments. You can also find us on Facebook and Twitter or chat with us on our Discord server. Any which way, I hope to see you in the future. You can check out our previous video on energy through the link that we'll put somewhere on the screen or in the com it's, it, we'll put a, we'll put a link somewhere it, it, it's 2016 it's YouTube <laughs>